What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Off-Road Outlaws. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to build this old school Land Rover right here. So let's go ahead and get this started. Now the first thing we're going to do is actually show you everything I did to it, you know, cosmetic wise. So I actually did go ahead and paint it, you know, a nice, a nice glossy red. I did put those super swampers on it, I have those nice set of rims. We do have a snorkel. We have some light bars, obviously, you know, just a bunch of cosmetics done to it nothing too nothing too aggressive is pretty much fairly simple it's supposed to be like a realistic build i do have an aftermarket bumper with a winch on every pair pack all kinds of stuff that you would normally see inside of a land rover now for the upgrades we do have everything completely maxed out and this is actually a diesel swapped land rover so go ahead and max it out diesel swap it and then for the suspension, everything is pretty much fairly stock, except for my travel is at 0.38, and then everything else is completely stock in here. The dampening is 38, 34, and then for the rear, my travel is 0.38, and then my damping is 21, 78, and everything else is pretty much left stock. Now we're going to go ahead and do the axis width for both of these. The front and the rear is going to be 0.04. And actually, you know, the front is actually going to be 0 0.03. Now we're going to go into the gear tuning to this. Now the developers do know that, you know, something wrong with the gear ratios and stuff. Something's a little bit messed up with the coding and it. it has nothing to do with the gear ratios being wrong. It just has something else to do in the coding. So that way it's not giving the proper, the proper torque for, you know, your low gear or anything. Now the game realizes that you do have low gear, so it is going to give you a certain amount of speed for those gear ratios, but you're not going to have that power band or that torque for the gear ratios. And then obviously the Land Rover was thrown on the dyno, so let's go ahead and actually take this Land Rover out real quick. Let's show you what this thing can do, guys, and I'll be right with you. So we made it into the map. Now, if anybody's asking what the map name is, the map is called Waterville by Jeremy Londrell and is actually on the featured playlist. So go ahead and check the map out. Now we're just gonna go ahead and follow this little, you know, road right here. Cause this is gonna lead us back to a little rock cross section. Now this is actually my first time being on this map, but I did go ahead and go into the drone and I actually scouted out the map to try and, you know, find a good little trail to go through. So we're gonna go ahead and just find our way around here. Looks like we actually, we actually kind of missed the trail spot. So let's go in and go up here. We're going to hit a left right here. This is actually where the trail begins. Let's go in and throw this into low gear. And I'm actually going to watch, you know, my temperature and see how, how good it does. Because so far, actually, I'm going to go in and drop back into high gear until, until I get my way up here. Five hours later. Now, so far, I have used this before. And this little, this little Land Rover... It's honestly surprisingly really good compared to how bad the gear ratios are right now. Especially with how small of a tire this thing has. This thing actually, it'll surprise you on how good it can crawl. Okay, let's go ahead and crawl up this. Now I know some things have actually gotten more realistic since the update. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Looks like that. Look at that guys, we actually made it up and over there. I like the way the physics look right now. I mean, everything is definitely pretty realistic with how it flexes and moves. Let's see if we can watch this from the front angle. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try and pop that front tire up and over and this thing just crawled right up it like it was nothing. Obviously that was not that big of a climb right there, but I mean, when you're in this small of a tire, and your gear ratios definitely are not the best because they don't really do much right now. This is a big, this is pretty big. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can make our way up this. We just need to get our tires up and over on top of the rock. Can we pull ourselves up? And we did it. We pulled ourselves up there now. Only problem is, guys, we got to figure out how we're going to be able to pull ourselves up this rock right here. Because, I mean, these tires are so small. There's literally nowhere for me to kind of get grip all right guys so if none of y'all did know the winch system you can actually winch to anything you want to so let's go ahead and actually pull ourselves up this because i know we're not going to be able to go straight up that not right now at least whenever the gear ratios are fixed we'll end up doing a build to where we fully max this thing out again and we'll actually put you know some of the biggest tires on it and make one of the craziest rock crawlers to ever come into the game 
Okay, this thing is kind of... It is not doing too well right now. After me saying that it is pretty good. It wants to... Wants to act like it's not good. Okay. Hopefully we can get up this. Come on, come on, come on. You got this, you got this. Just keep going. I know it's steep. I know it's slippery. Just, just get up. That's okay. Come on, you got this. Come on, Land Rover. You know you want to get up over here to the left. And you do not want to fall down. Because I definitely don't want to fall down. And looks like that's what's going to happen. No, no, no. Come on, we got this. No. So we made it back right here. And I honestly don't think this thing is going to be able to make it all the way up this. Just because of how slippery it is. But I mean, it seems to be gripping up. But as soon as I say that, you know, it, it it decides to start falling. So I definitely don't want to jinx myself here. But we're going to go ahead and keep trying to make our way up this. Honestly, it seems very realistic with the way everything moves now. Come on. You know you want to get grip on this. I mean, it's really not that steep at all. Guys, can we make it up this? Can we not make it up this? is the question oh oh come on come on okay looks like I found the right spot I found the right spot come on come on we gotta at least be able to make our way up this and it would be pretty steep okay 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 come on we got this we just need to make our way up on top of this little hill right here and guys we made it up here definitely switching back into high gear because going that slow gets pretty annoying all right, guys, well, let me know down below in the comments. What do you think about this build? What do you think about the Land Rover? Are you going to build this yourself? And if you do build one, are you going to go realistic like this? Or are you just going to go all out and making it an extreme rock crawler with giant tires? Let me know down below in the comments what you're going to do and what your thoughts are about my Land Rover build. Besides that, guys, please be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications.